Well, ladies and gentlemen, night three of Freedom Cup. Is the 22C ready to roll, Carly? Yeah, 22C is already all cleaned. We did the maintenance this morning. Track here looks really good, and uh, they watered it, they tilled it, they graded it, they did anything that they probably could to it, and uh, I think we're all ready to go. Cottage Grove working extremely hard to give us the best surface. Can you kind of give uh, give the viewers a rundown on your point situation? Uh, so right now I'm second, Tanner's first. I'm seven points behind, so the only way I really could get ahead of them is if I uh, beat them in the heat race, basically, by, because I, I think the heat only goes down by one, but as, like, I need No, a, the heat races go down by three. Oh, they go down by three, so. so between the heat race and the A-Main. Yeah, I, if, if I could win my heat and Tanner gets, like, third or something, then we'd kind of just be, like, about tied, that might be ahead, and then for the main, it also goes down by three, so I'd have to finish a few spots ahead of him, but, and if I can't, it's all good. The pay is still pretty good for second. Carly is saying that, but she definitely wants to win, so there's a lot on the line tonight. It's going to be a, a lot of fun, and so much can happen. By no means do I, you know, I mean, I'm in the best spot possible, obviously, at the top of the standings, but Carly's close. There's a couple guys also behind us that are close, and we're gonna see what we can make happen. Ready? Yes. Alrighty, guys. So I just got done with hot laps. I went out uh, second group. You can go out first, second, or third group. I just went out second group. It was easiest. And um, I caught up to the guy in front of me. I think we ran 11.8, and second ran a 12.0. So we went quick time. It, I mean, I know it's hot laps, but fastest overall so far. We have the heats coming up, and I start seventh. Uh, Tanner's in the first heat, I'm in the second heat, and I start seventh, so um, get, we're gonna give it our all. The track's really good. It's kind of like right around the top, uh, like the middle almost. Um, the bottom, I didn't see a lot of people running it, but by the time like the mods and street stocks go out, I'm sure, you know, the track will either get better or get worse. So I'm gonna go strap in and get ready for my heat. Two wheels down, the, whatever it takes to get slowed up enough, get two wheels down the edge of the infield, both corners. done about four laps where everyone else has done probably almost 15 and uh dang what what just that yeah I don't really know what to say right now just that was I mean I'm glad I'm safe I'm glad my legs are still in one piece because what happened was the torque ball um unit it's like snapped in half and the, I we've never had it we we've never even had it fallen out I'm pretty sure in the past like three years of racing too so that was just super like uh just inconvenience that it just snapped randomly and I'm glad that that red came out just for my safety because if I did if that red didn't come out and that thing was snapped my legs one of my legs could be broken right now they could be bruised it could be seriously injured um, or both of them so we got it fixed we got all the bolts tight we greased everything up enough I think everything is good it's all put together I know it's all put together right Tanner and I you know we just worked our butts off Brian helped my dad pitched in and some other people have pitched in their help too so I think thank you to everyone who helped us 
uh, get me ready within the time that we had because we only have, I mean, there's one race out there right now and then the streak shocks go up but there's only like six of them and then we're up. We got it done pretty fairly quickly but we got it done right and um, I think we're starting 10th maybe, I don't know. We're fourth in points right now. Um, as I, I probably could get to like third and maybe second if I just like beat everyone or I beat the uh, three people that are ahead of me in points. Um, but it's gonna be tough because now I'm not gonna be, I'm, I mean, I'm gonna be worried, but the, at the same time, like, I'm just gonna be focused on trying to um, get up there and I don't wanna put too much pressure on myself where I wreck myself or I wreck someone else. So, like I said, thank you to everyone who pitched in their help out there. Uh, couldn't do it without everyone's help. And uh, I'm gonna go get strapped in and buckled for the main.
Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't even know where to start this clip. First off, I guess I should say, I know you guys all want to hear from Carly. You want an update on Carly. How is Carly doing? You want to hear her talk. You want to hear her. And I get that this is her channel. Uh, I wanted to get this video up for you, the viewers. Right now, Carly is at the doctor. So for today, I'm gonna be the middleman, but we have content coming out later this week where we're gonna talk about this incident. And Carly is gonna give more of her side of the story. And there's just, there's so much to everything that had ha has happened. We obviously waited a little bit to post this footage and just post everything from the final night of Freedom Cup, but Carly was checked out. She was out front. She was gonna, she was gonna win the thing. Uh, she looked so good. I mean, like she was so fast. And um, Brian had her car dialed in. Rubber started to come in. Her car got better and better, faster every single time. Then you saw there uh, crossing the line for lap 28, just a handful to go. Uh, the lap car that was in front of her had changed lanes. She was trying to roll around the outside as the other cars behind her in second, third, and fourth were coming and moving in as she had to slow down for those two or three guys that were, uh, were right ahead of her. When the lap car made contact with her left side, it just shot her like in the air and to the right. So she hit the front stretch wall and just, I can't believe how violent it was. Like I cannot believe how violent of a crash it was. And she just flipped so far, landed in turn, outside of turn one, down like 15 or 20 feet in this hole, in this creek bed basically, like in these bushes and trees and branches. And it was horrible. And in the moment, I actually didn't even know that's where she landed. I guess I just thought she was out in turn one. And all of a sudden, when I rolled up over there, I'm like, where is Carly's car? And I just, I'm basically looking down. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Carly, I didn't even know this was there. She's literally in a creek, like, or I mean, the water was fairly dried up, but it was muddy and she was, she was just there and she landed on her side and was upside down for a couple of minutes until they were able to get down through the brush, get to her and then get her flipped uh, back on all fours. It was so scary. We knew right away that Carly was not okay and they cut the halo off the top of her car so they could get her out the top. They used a backboard. Uh, the first thing she was complaining about was back and arm and shoulder pain. So we thought maybe bro a broken arm, broken busted shoulder, collarbone, like that was all immediate concern, but definitely something was wrong with her back. So they got her out, got her to the ambulance. They took her north to Riverbend in Eugene, which is 30 minutes up the road, uh, I-5. And they got her there in Eugene and immediately after x-rays and they did all the scans, uh, they determined that she had technically, you know, a broken back. Uh, it was the T3 and T4 vertebrae that were fractured. She had bruised lungs and she was just, I mean, she was just beat up from the crash. And there's a lot more that I want to analyze and we're going to do that with her. So like I said, I'm going to save that for her, but that's just the gist of it. There was two clips though that I wanted to play just to give you context of where she landed and how they had to pull her car out. So maybe you'll realize like, we're just in a hole. Like she flipped up, she smoked the tree, and it sent her straight down. How in the hell did this get here? Hey Jeff, go as high as you can with the boom. <laughs> oh, yes. So that was the incident. As I said, extremely scary. Just every everything about it. Um, but Carly is back home. It's technically one week now since it has happened and she's doing a lot better. She's moving around. She's got the, the typical Scarly, Carly smirk on her. If anything now, you know, she's so active that she almost feels a little bit on the board side, if that makes sense, because she wants to move around and do everything that she normally does. Like she works at my parents' business. She does all that. And she doesn't have that opportunity right now because she has to be, you know, on the couch. But she is starting to walk around the house more a little bit. We took her to the grocery store one time and she rode one of the carts around. So we're just trying to get her out and about and, um, and trying to help this healing process as well. Like take the time and rest up and take naps and do what you gotta do. But at the same time, like move around a little bit so you don't get too stiff. And she's at the doctor's right now. So that's like the first checkup. She has another thing she has to go to tomorrow. And we're gonna keep you guys updated on this whole process and document, you know, Carly's recovery. We gave it a little bit of time here at the beginning. Obviously so much has happened in chaos and um, I know Carly will tell you and I'll say it too. I mean like Carly's lucky to be alive There is so much about the situation that was wrong that could have went worse and luckily 
um, it didn't and she you know just walked away with the injuries that she has so um, thank you guys for watching thank you for reaching out thank you for your support as Carly's older brother and being so concerned in the moment and with everything um, you know we just we just immediately you know we were absorbing the prayers and the loves and the thoughts and all that um, you know so much happened and you know they, they got Carly out of there and then we you know I was working on getting the car in the trailer and there's just so many people and things are such a blur I, I can't even tell you about it all but um, we got back home and then you kind of have a, a second to relook at everything. I watched the footage because I want to know what happened and what caused maybe all sorts of stuff. But yeah, just absolute craziness. So Carly's all good. She's back home. Remember, it's a back injury. So upper back, broken vertebra or uh, fractured vertebrae, bruised lungs, and uh, you could say a broken heart as well. But um, she's in good spirits and she's ready to... Uh, you know, take on this journey. And as I said in my Facebook updates, you know, this is a bump in the road for Carly's story, but it's nothing she absolutely cannot handle and will tackle with open arms. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching. And as Carly always says, peace.